going to be doing a Disney Beauty and the Beast Belle makeup Halloween tutorial and it's going to lean more on the face character side so not super glam not super sexy something Walt Disney World would approve of a little bit more authentic to the animated characters look I'm also using entirely drugstore products if you see any of these brushes the mermaid ones I got them on Groupon for about ten dollars and then all my other brushes are elf products I have already cheated a little bit by putting on foundation and I put on several layers because it's Halloween so you can go a little bit more heavy-handed with the foundation and that's kind of the key with this entire tutorial is that you don't need to use a light hand like you do with your everyday makeup you can go a little bit more exaggerated because you want it to show up in pictures and you want people to still see you in a dim room or if you're walking around at night let's begin i'm also going to be using this elf palette because it has a mirror let me get into my toolbox it's literally a makeup toolbox so first i'm going to begin with this i am pretty sure it's wet and wild and it's an eyebrow palette i like powders for eyebrows better than pencils or waxes there's something about the pencils and the waxes that i feel like actually like tears out my eyebrows and i don't have any brow to spare and with Belle's eyebrows she's one of the characters who has more of a straight and arched brow rather than little half circles like so so I'm just trying to straighten out my brow a little bit and extend it and thicken it. That's a key if you're cosplaying or dressing up as any animated character is the eyebrows are really important to the look. So no matter who you're playing, if they're animated, you're going to want to really exaggerate the eyebrows. So we got the brows down, we're framing the face. I would invest in some sort of eye primer or a primer that you just use on your eyes, especially when you're doing heavier Halloween costume makeup and you might be dancing or running around in haunted houses. You're gonna want something that kind of keeps that makeup set so it doesn't move around so much so i'm going to put a little bit of this on my eyes just kind of glop it on while i'm waiting for that to kind of settle in i'm going to move on to my blush and that's a big thing if you're doing any disney princess character they are all of them are really really flushed so the blush is really important this is one of my all-time favorite princess palettes from wet n wild how do you know it's drugstore Ta -da! so i've had this for years before i've done princessing and this has been one of the most useful palettes i could ever ask for i use this red a lot for ariel's brows i use these blues for cinderella i use the green for ariel or anna but right now, as you can see, I've hit pan on these top pink ones. I'm gonna use this kind of circular brush, and I like this because it is kind of circular and you can get a really good kind of exaggerated flush out of it. And I'm gonna go into these lighter pinks. I like the cooler tone blushes personally. The nice thing about Belle is because of her hair color and eye color and her dress, you can be a lot darker skin color or go much more bronzy and you'll still resemble her really, really well and it will be really flattering versus kind of a Cinderella or a Snow White. Just right on the apples of the cheeks going up and I'm just pounding it in. Because like I said, they're super flushed. You might as well go big or go home. Am I right? Cool. So I'm going to go into this drugstore palette, Rimmel, Rimmel, Rimmel London. And I'm going to use this, I don't know if you can see, it's a shimmery light brown color. 
You can do Belle's entire eye look in brown colors with light brown, medium, sparkly brown, and then a dark brown. And if that's just the colors you have or if that's a look you're more comfortable with, go for it. So I'm gonna use one of these like boopity boop brushes and get that sparkly medium brown and straight on. And this is going to be my transition shade. They like how I say transition shade, as if I'm a real makeup artist. And like I said, you can finish this off just using browns, but I'm gonna go a little crazy. I'm gonna go slightly more theatrical since it's Halloween. And I'm gonna close that like I'm not gonna use it. And I'm going to get into this bright yellow color. We're gonna play around with that for a bit. I'm gonna use one of my e.l.f. brushes with a lot of packed bristles. And we're gonna get into that yellow and I'm gonna put it right on the lid and a little bit upwards too since I kind of have hooded eyes because I want you to be able to see it even when my eyes are open. And I know this might look a little crazy, but I have a plan. I'm gonna go into this mysterious unlabeled palette with a lid that is also detachable. So there's a really pretty shimmery gold color in there that's a little bit darker and I'm going to be using that for my crease but because I have more elongated eyes I'm not going to go all the way into the crease because that's just going to make it look elongated. I'm going to stick a little bit more to the outside corners here because the key with Disney characters along with having really flush cheeks is to have really round eyes so that's kind of the illusion we got to go for unless you're blessed with really round Disney princess eyes then I'm jealous I'm gonna go with one of these and here's the thing too you can pretty much do this entire eye look using one of these little cheap brushes that come in a drugstore palette I think you can probably get away with that so don't feel like you need to go out and buy all of these brushes to recreate this look. That's silly. I think I'm gonna take one of these more fluffy brushes. If it looks like there's extra makeup on here, I just rub it off on my arm. No one will notice. And this is just to exaggerate that corner there. And no worries but we're gonna blend that puppy out. I still want a little bit more definition around the corner, so I'm gonna go back into the mysterious, glittery, shimmery, warm colored palette, and there's a shimmery brown, and that comes in most palettes, so just find a shimmery brown. Doop, doop, doop. And put it right on the edge there. I'm going to Add a little bit of that yellow on top again because we're kind of going for that halo effect. You want to keep the center of the eye some sort of light or bright shimmery color so we have that rounded effect. For the ultimate secret for big Disney eyes, if you are to actually go out and buy one product from this tutorial it would have to be this nyx jumbo white pencil and obviously this used to have a pointed tip but i have used it a lot now if you have really big rounded eyes you can just put it this white on the waterline but since mine are a little bit on the elongated side, I'm gonna do a bit more exaggerated. Now that's just on the waterline and it already starts to make your eyes just look a little bit bigger and wider, but I'm gonna go outside of the waterline on the actual lower lash line and whiten that up a little bit. So that might seem a little crazy, but I'm going to take just some sort of an angled brush or again, one of these little brushes that come in your palette. I'm gonna go back into that light brown that was originally my transition shade. Boop, 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 boop. And we're gonna go underneath the white that I just set down. But see how it tricks the eye so that it looks a lot bigger? So then I'm also going to go in to this palette again and I'm gonna take this little white shade with one of these and we are gonna highlight 
the corners and the brow bone. And I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drop just a little bit. Right in the center of the eye. And I'm gonna take this other, it's just like a flat brush, just to blend it out a little bit. Awesome. So I went ahead and threw on my falsies from Kiss, just like $6 at the drugstore, and they make such a difference with your whole look. These are fairly natural. They're not too over the top glam, but it's your look, so feel free to go as crazy with the lashes as you would like. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I didn't put them on my upper lashes because Again, the falsies kind of take care of that, and it's like, why go through that step if you don't need to? And keeping the mascara to a minimum means you're gonna have a minimum amount of mess underneath your eyes at the end of the night, which, despite your best efforts, you'll inevitably have, or hopefully you will. It's a sign of a good night, I think. So we have our big Disney eyes, exaggerated brows, lots of blush on the cheek, so now we're gonna go with the lips. And the fun thing with Belle is that you can really play around with her lip color. I would look at your Belle costume. I know some of them have like pink roses and rose petals sewn on, or if you have a red rose necklace. Today I'm gonna stick with the more face character, authentic animation look, and I'm gonna go with a fun pink. Now this is not from the drugstore, but all of these were like $7 on Groupon. I think they're called Cougar. All that I recommend is that for your base coat, you get a matte lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick, because you're going to be drinking or eating candy and you're going to want your base to stay on and not move around and make a mess. I can get my mirror open. Ooh. Whatever liquid lipstick you put as your base, I would suggest putting some sort of gloss or matching lip color that has a little bit more moisture to it. So I'm gonna put, I think this is from Milani, so this is like $3, which rules. And it's a very sparkly, shimmery, cool toned pink. And I'm going to throw that on just in the center of my lips. So there's that little pop of shimmer. It's a little bit fuller. Personally, when I do princessing, I never put highlighter on. You totally can for Halloween if you wanna glow it up, glow it up. It's just with princessing and kind of being a face character, I find that highlighting, because it is so glam, it kind of reads a little bit older and you wanna keep the characters looking more youthful. So instead of highlighter, it's kind of the child equivalent of highlighter. I'm gonna use Hard Candy's Gold Glitter. And yes, I'm literally gonna put this on my cheeks as if it's highlighter. And a little in here, why not? I just find that it adds a little bit of fun and kid-like joy to your look, and who doesn't like glitter? You will have completed the Belle face character look. I'm gonna throw on my wig and show you guys the completed project. So luckily my hair color matches this wig pretty much exactly, so I don't need to wear a hair net or a hair cap to keep it all in. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoy this Halloween makeup tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a message in the comments if you wanna see any other Disney makeup tutorials from me. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.